I'm in Fraser Basin and we had just been a little bit downhill of here and we dug some snow pits and we had this nice story that we put together for you about how there's some weak layers in the lower snowpack and that large avalanches are possible because there had just been a big avalanche that went bowl to the south of here about a week ago. We were surprised when we skinned back out and we looked up onto this wall behind me and we saw six natural avalanches. Now these are small slab avalanches and loose snow avalanches that are failing within the inch or, inch or two of new snow that we have right now. But what we te this tells me is if we have an inch or two of snow or seeing avalanches that are sliding five, six, seven hundred vertical feet, when we have a few more inches on top of this, not expecting it to bond well, and we are expecting to see more avalanches. So going forward, be real careful about getting into any steep terrain because of new snow avalanche concerns, as well as that deeper slab problem and stick to simpler terrain off of wind-loaded slopes for the time being while we're waiting for this storm to settle out.